Welcome everyone to this week's video. Today we are on Fish Friday number 94 and we have a good one for you today. Today's fish just quite frankly can't quite figure out what color it wants to be which of course makes it an absolutely gorgeous fish um, that has a very surprising twist about it. Today's fish that we're going to be talking about is BAM! The Rock Greenling. So the rock greenling, or scientific name Hexagramos lagocephalus, again that is Hexagramos lagocephalus, it is part of the family Hexagramidae, and it is found along the Pacific coast, so from Alaska, like the Baltic Sea of Alaska, all the way down to Southern California, and I think it continues on and can be found around Russia as well, um, but it is primarily found in those rocky shorelines. They really like those rocky shorelines mostly. Um, they'll have, um, you know, like you can see in the background here, they like being around like some grasses, a lot of rocks, but, and they can be found in tide pools and sandy areas, but they really seem to prefer those rocks. Um, in terms of like their depth, so they're in these rocky coastal waters, which usually have, you know, quite deep um, they're usually from the intertidal um, to about 46 meters deep which is about 151 feet and when I say intertidal I'm talking about like you know fucking shallow the you know like zero water um, some reports and I think I think it's not some reports I think it's their sort of habit in the winter time they go really deep and they'll get around 596 meters which is about 1,955 feet. So they can get really far down there. Now, they're usually not that deep. Everything I've found says that they're usually shallower than 17 meters, which is about 56 feet deep. Um, this is a medium-sized fish. Oh, a little zoomed in there. Um, it is a medium-sized fish, if you can tell from this picture. I know this one was a little zoomed in. Um, Here's a better one right here. It's a medium sized fish, not ginormous, not, you know, tiny. You think about a max length of about 61 centimeters, which is about two feet long. Um, and I've seen very conflicting opinions on this, but it's, I'm pretty confident that the max sort of weight that you get is about a 830 grams, which is about 1.8 pounds. So think just under two pounds. Um, I have found some stuff saying that they get significantly heavier than that. I just, there wasn't enough to sort of get on to become that. It seems to me that that two pound is really about their max size. Um, please, if you know different, correct me in the comments. Love to be proved wrong. Um, it is an elongated fish um, and it's got this fusiform body. So with that real cylindrical body it's slightly compressed um from ventrally so from side to side um but it is primarily that fusiform elongated um these are bottom dwelling fish so you can see their large pectoral fins helping them sort of hold themselves things like that should be called leopard fish yeah it's this fish is um basically it's maroon with all these spots um and I believe all the spots are starred out blue and fade to this bright red with this maroon being the background color. Now they can um, get significant, there is a lot of color variation. Um, if you look at the pictures, you can see, you know, they get a little, there's, that is not a rock green leaf. Um, but yeah, so you can get like these sort of like more um, redder ones, things like that. Um, oh man, this is a great picture for one thing I wanted to show. Um, do, yes. So, um, why this color pattern? Um, you know what, I just need to just talk about it because this is just way too obvious. Um, as with all of the greenling species, they have this single, well not, all species have this single, but um, the rock greenling has s uh, the cirri um, over the eyes that are usually more than three quarters the width of the eye, di eye diameter. 
sorry, these little fresh, fleshy, bristle-like protrusions, um, they're usually, they're kind of like eyelashes. That's actually pretty significant. Most of the other greenlings have more than one. This only has a single pair. Um, anyway, back to the color pattern. Why does it have this color pattern? Well, the color pattern is actually really good for being in these rocks, those really um, white lichen covered rocks, not lichen, but these real different colored rocks, it really breaks up their background and allows them to be pretty well camouflaged. These fish are actually not that easy to find. Now, if you've noticed, and by the way, you can see the Siri right here as well. Um, does this fish kind of look like some of the other things we've talked about? Yes, sculpins. It has that sort of leopard fish look to me, um, which or lionfish, which is part of the Scorpaniformes. And yes, this fish is part of the Scorpaniformes as well. But as with most of those fish, this fish has a heck of a lot of spines. Um, basically, all of this uh, front part of the dorsal is heavy, thick spines that can really stick you. So be careful if you do catch these. Um, now, for the next thing, they do have this really interesting fact. They have a bluish mouth. Look at this bright turquoise blue mouth. Um, pretty hard to miss that coloration in the mouth. I'll tell you that. Um, a little interesting fact about this fish, about its body form, it's not the interesting fact of the day, but the interesting fact about this fish um, is it actually has five lateral lines, and I found out that that is actually um, indicative of the hexagramity. Um, the lateral line system, which I should look up, uh, show you a picture. So the lateral line is this line going down the center of a fish's body that is allowing them to you uh, look to sense pressure changes in the water. So you can see these this row of scales right here. Um, those are actually tiny holes that they're using to sense pressure changes in the water column. Um, it's very sensitive, very very neat. Well, the rock greenling has five it actually has five lateral line systems almost all fish species have one very few have more than one um especially freshwater but this rock ringling actually has five now i kind of gave you a sneak peek didn't mean to the interesting tidbit that we're going to end today um, these fish are um very very sought after for anglers and one of the reasons why and it's become a little sort of like, I don't want to say cold, is actually because of the meat of the rock greenling. Um, so the meat of the rock greenling is almost always blue or blue-green in color. But when it's cooked, it'll actually turn white. Um, by the way, you can buy this. I believe you can buy it for about $25 a pound. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, now, it has nothing to do... or I, Nothing I could find says that it's because of what they're eating. You know how flamingos change pink because they're eating shrimp and crustaceans. Rock greenling feed primarily on like fish eggs and larvae and little tiny crustaceans. Really small food for a fish that has such a large mouth. Um, I believe it is all coming from the chemical Billy Verdon, which is um, a sort of bile chemical so like stomach acid it actually turns the blood serum blue which is what is getting into their flesh um and something interesting about that that billy verdon or bill of verdon is the pigment that is responsible for the greenish color that you get in those really deep bruises it's the same chemical this fish just incorporated it into its flesh i'm not gonna lie if i cut into a fish and it had a blue blue flesh I kind of would have lost my mind and I don't know if I would have eaten it if I hadn't have done this research right here but now I kind of know so again I said at the beginning of the video what color is this fish well it's a red fish with a green name and blue meat what a combo <laughs> what a combo um, 
But thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you again. If I don't, please be safe. Have a great day. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you do. I'd really appreciate it. Hope to see you again. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. And peace.